Okay, friends, I'm gonna apologize in advance because I already ate the food, but I wanted to stress the potential short-term value in buying to-go food and then going through destruction, reconstruction at home. Um, I haven't been to the grocery store in about a week and pickings are slim. But I was hungry after playing trivia with friends tonight and I wanted to get maybe like a buffalo chicken sub or something like that. So what I did was I went to Sheets. It's a Northeast chain. Uh, there's some in Virginia and whatnot, but basically insert any good convenience store gas station chain here. Uh, Culver's. Uh, good to goes, you know, whatever the case is. Churches. Now nah, they're mainly fast food. Royal Farms. So what I did, I went to Sheets. I got their foot long chicken bacon sub on a pretzel roll. It was eight bucks. With tax, I think it was like eight nineteen, eight twenty nine, something like that. Um, brought it home, tore everything off, set the vegetables to the side. Cause you know, if I want to go to the grocery store and make a chicken sub, I gotta buy lettuce, tomato, onions, uh, the chicken itself. The rolls, the rolls only come in like four or six packs or something. I'm spending eight bucks just on a bag of pretzel rolls. I just need a dinner tonight and then maybe lunch for tomorrow. So I got the foot long sub. Brought it home, pulled it all apart, threw all the chicken and the onions in the air fryer for about eight minutes to get it crispy. Warmed it back it up, warmed it back up. Then in the meantime, I put the pretzel roll in my toaster oven. Halfway through cooking the chicken and onions, I put the bacon in just to get it warm and a little crunchy around the edges because we all know they use fancy microwaves and the bacon's never crunchy. <laughs> I put it all back together. I used one of my favorite hot sauces, put on my own mayonnaise, Dukes for the win, and Yes, it took an extra 15 minutes once I got home. But for less than $9, I made a killer buffalo chicken bacon sub the way I want, not the way the convenience store is going to present it to me. And I have lunch for tomorrow. So I know it's not always ideal or the most cost-effective situation, but honestly, for the amount of time and money involved, Two meals for four fifty a piece, not too bad. So what I'm saying is, if you like something from one of your favorite convenience stores or fast food joints, Taco Bell is another good example. I usually go order twice as much food as I want from Taco Bell because I know I'm gonna come home, deconstruct it, reheat everything, crisp up my tortillas or my shells, and then double up the meat and it's cheaper easier and it comes out better every time every time so with that being said don't be afraid to go to your fat, uh, favorite fast food joint or convenience store restaurant and pick up some food and bring it home and when you open it up and you go oh it's cold I need it warmer deconstruct it make it how you want it reconstruct it with the amount of time and effort and money paid for that you actually probably saved personal time going to the grocery store buying all the other stuff you needed and then cooking it yourself that's what i got for you guys tonight keep it spicy boom